Join us as we explore the hidden gems of the Bahamas, from feeding iguanas to swimming with pigs, snorkeling at a plane crash site, and coming face to face with nurse sharks. We even encounter some crazy weather. Get ready for a once in a lifetime experience. We are loaded on the boat. Yeah. We're super excited. Inception. Yeah. Short Things picked us up from our Atlantis hotel and took us to their dock in Nassau. They provided breakfast before we loaded in the boat. It was about one hour to get to our first stop, which was to feed the native rock iguanas. The iguanas were really fast and super cute. Some were teeny tiny and then others were really big. We stuck some grapes on the end of a stick and they ate them off. Well, most of them did. It's a baby. It's a hermit crab. It took about 15 minutes to arrive to our second spot, Norman's K. Here we snorkeled the infamous Pablo Escobar plane crash. The tide was low this day, but they did have life jackets if you wanted them. There were a ton of fish and seeing a crash under the water was so cool. It crashed in 1980 by missing the runway and landing on a sandbar. Norman's K was notorious for drug running in the 70s and 80s. Next up, it started raining. Little did we know this would be a theme for the excursion. The rain was really cold and the water at the next stop was actually warm. So it was better to jump in than staying on the boat in the rain. Even though above the water wasn't that great, snorkeling and exploring the reef was truly beautiful. They called this stop the underwater aquarium. Still raining and still freezing, we made our way to Pig Island. Even with the rain jackets they provided, it was still really cold and we were soaked. We didn't allow that to ruin our time with the pigs. When they heard the boats coming, they ran out from the tree coverage on the island and started swimming towards us. It was adorable and kind of funny. They were definitely ready for food and we were told to show them our hands empty to get them to back away. carrots and watch some of them fight a little bit. They were so big. I was not prepared for how big they were and a little aggressive, but we didn't feel uncomfortable or anything. What do y'all think? It was a really neat experience and the crew members got them to actually do tricks and things for us. We all really enjoyed the pigs. sun came out just in time for us to head to Black Point for our Bohemian lunch. It was fresh and filling. We had authentic Bohemian food like fried grouper and jerk chicken. What you think, Daddy? Pretty good. Um, there's our boat. After lunch, we jumped off the famous dock at Black Point. The water is crystal clear and there were two nurse sharks swimming around right before we jumped in. And speaking of nurse sharks, they were our next stop. The graceful nurse sharks were beautiful and friendly, actually. The crew helped gather them up for you to hold, although Milo didn't have a problem picking them up himself. They would throw food at the nurse sharks and their mouths would kind of pop open, which scared us a little bit, but it was pretty cool. We got to spend a lot of time here, thankfully, because this was our favorite stop. Okay. <laughs> nice. This is like unnatural. I can't see. Milo, right. grab boy. And our final stop was a private island. We enjoyed swimming and splashing around here, looking for wildlife, playing in the sand, and Andrew got some really neat drone shots. And 
unfortunately, it was time to head home. We were warned we were going to be hitting some weather and we definitely did. The entire ride back was a downpour and the crew was very professional and tried to make us as comfortable as possible, but it was cold and a little scary. It's one of those memories though that we'll have forever and we just look back now and laugh on to think that we actually got through all that. We made it back safe and sound and when we got back, our bus was ready for us to take us back to our hotel. Even though mother nature was not on our side, we still had such a great time. We got to experience so many cool new things and make so many great memories. I highly recommend or things if you are going to the Bahamas and need an all-day excursion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.